Welcome back. In our third video, we're going to consider the concept of morality. Where do our moral judgments come from? And in order to do that, we're going to consider Plato's thought experiment called the Ring of Gyges. You might find some parallels with a more modern story in what you're about to see. I want to stick with Plato because in his Republic, the famous essay on an imaginary sort of city-state system, he has a thought experiment in the beginning of the book in which um, Glaucon tells this story of moving through the desert after there's been an earthquake. And the earthquake had opened up a crevasse within the land, and this wanderer goes down into the crevasse and finds this cavern. And in the cavern is a small bronze horse, and in the belly of that horse is a ring. Well, the wanderer's intrigued by the ring and figures, there's no one around, it doesn't really matter, I'll take the ring pockets the ring, goes off into the desert for weeks, wandering along. And what this wanderer discovers whilst holding the ring is that every time he puts the ring on, it makes him invisible. I think we know where Lord of the Rings might have come from. <laughs> it comes from Plato. But Plato asked the question in the Republic, if you had a ring of invisibility, would you commit unjust acts, meaning if you could be invisible, would you go steal something? Would you go rob the Pharaoh's house? Would you go hurt your friend or do something that no one could see you do? Or would you be a just person? Does the mere possibility of being invisible change your morality and your moral code? So I have to have a ring. I have to keep it under lock and key, I'm afraid, um, because it is hugely tempting. I have a key for us to liberate the ring. I won't put it on because I want you to see me for a moment. <laughs> Imagine if you put that ring on and you could become invisible. Would you like to help me? Come on up here, please. What's your name? Jeff. Just stand here, Jeff. I place the ring in the box, and I'm going to leave that box open, Joe. I'm going to go over there to that gentleman, around there, so I can't see what you're doing. You have a moral choice now. If you take the ring, you can take the ring and place it behind your back, so I can't see whether you've taken the ring or not. Or if you choose not to take the ring, Joe, you can leave it in the box. In either case, once you've made your choice, shut the box in an audible fashion so I can hear it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Great. I'll just go over there now. When I instruct you, Joe, you may make your choice. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie, you can make sure my eyes are absolutely closed. My back is to Joe. I can see nothing. Does that work? Yeah. Great. Joe, you may make your choice. You may choose the ring or leave the ring, but in any case, shut the box once you've made your choice. Very definitive. Thank you very much, Charlie. That's good. Charlie can confirm my eyes were closed. My back was to you. And Joe has certainly made his choice. It's very good you made a choice, because I uh, can still see you, which suggests to me that you didn't take the ring. You're not invisible, and you are, in fact, an upstanding and just person. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you very much, good. Joe. Who else would like a little go at the morality test? Joe, if you have a seat, we'll get someone else up here to make this choice. Would you like to have a go? You're just sure. chomping at the bit, aren't you? What's your name? I'm Jack. Jack. Jack, stand here. Same choice. I'm going to go talk to Charlie over here. Right? You may make your choice. Take the ring or not take the ring. And then, of course, once you made your choice, shut the box. Excellent. Charlie, did I have my eyes closed, back turned? Excellent. Where'd he go? Where is he? He's just there. You can see him. Yeah. You must be unjust as well then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tempted, weren't you? So you took the ring, didn't you? You are un actually invisible. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyone else? Another go. Somebody. You would like to do it, I'm sure. Okay, let's try it. One more time. I want to test. This is like the, you know, the sort of sensing the morality barometer here in the room. You look terrified. What's your name? Solon. Solon, great. Okay, it's your choice. I'm going to go over here to Charles. Charlie, excuse me. And uh, shut my eyes. Same routine. Ready? Solon, you may, 
Make your choice to take or not to take. That is the question. Woo, she's quick, efficient. That's what I like. Okay. You watched everyone else. You saw their choices. You're not invisible. You're an upstanding and just person. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. part in this experiment. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you never know if you really are invisible or not and what you get up to if you were invisible or whether you'd be tempted to be invisible. Ask yourself, would you want to test that proposition? So I hope you enjoyed that. In our next video, we're going to consider the concept of agency and whether we have free will in the choices that we make in our everyday lives.